So here's a video showing you one thing that you can do uh, once you're done with your Autodesk project. Um, let me did this last year, uh, but creating a snowflake. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Tinkercad. So I'm going to change the name of this. Properties. Um, snowflake. Save changes. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with maybe the arms of the snowflake. So this is a really standard one. This one's similar to this, although it has shapes that are more elaborate in the center. So I'll just create something that looks somewhat the same. And uh, you can choose to make it uh, more plain or more elaborate, depending on how much time you have. So <clears throat> I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to choose the box first. So I'm going to make this thing. So what I'm doing is I'm starting one of the arms. So I'm going to do 10, I'll make this, I don't know, five's fine, 10, and then what was the length? Let's make that a easier number to deal with. So 80, and then I'm actually going to turn this 90 degrees so that I'm looking at it like that. I'm getting above view here. <clears throat> okay, cool. And actually, this might be too long. Let's do. <clears throat> we'll do 50. Just for now, I can always make it longer, shorter, however I want it to look afterwards. And uh, I'm gonna grab another one of these. And I'm going to make it, um, well, 10 is the width of this one, so 10, I'll make this the same width, and you'll see what I'm going to do with it. I believe I made it 5 millimeters. So I plan on sort of putting this off the edge at an angle. <clears throat> These things are sort of coming off the side. So I'm going to try and create that look. And <clears throat> what I need to do is, <clears throat> sorry, I need to change the angle of this. So maybe I'm going to change it to, let's change it to 45 degrees. 45, and then I'm going to put it right. <clears throat> view here I mean that's sticking out a little further I'm going to change the snap to 0 0.25 so now it moves around a little smoother okay <clears throat> and actually I'm going to duplicate this so edit, duplicate, and I want to turn this to be, um, so I turned it 90, which basically just makes it the opposite, um, 45 degree angle that this one is. And I'm just trying to line these up so that they look similar here. And they're pretty much lined up, I would say. Just like that. And I'm going to group this. Group. Once I group it, it should all look like one. There shouldn't be any one sticking up more than the other because I made them all at the same depth. So five millimeters. <clears throat> so that's cool. That's one of the arms there. Uh, that we can make and I need to figure out the body of this so I'm gonna go well, what are most of these there's one two three four there's six 
Um, a lot of these are six, so I could create something that is almost like a hexagon. So maybe I go to shape generator and I go to <coughs> new shape. this a little bit no all right I'm gonna choose the polygon and I'm gonna wait for these options to show up I'm gonna change that to six and I don't want it pointed so change it to six and I can make it a little bit larger here maybe like change the snap back to whole numbers. And now it's stuck on those little ones. It's fine. So I'm just going to do a general shape. Now the beauty of this is, right, snowflakes are, they look symmetrical. Again, I don't, I mean, you could probably agree that they're imperfect though. So, um, doesn't need to be totally exact or I'm just making excuses for myself for making it look strange either way um, it'll probably turn out fine so what we can do is then I can duplicate these so duplicate duplicate or I can copy and you can also just paste sort of does the same thing, only it sets it apart as you move it along. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can start putting these on the side of the hexagon. So I can start turning these. depth of this. Changing the depth to 5 to match my arms. <clears throat> and I'm trying to think. The I want the angle to put these on. So for a <clears throat> hexagon, it's the number of sides minus two, number of sides minus two, it's four, times 180, so four times 180, and So that's the interior angle of each one of these. So I think for this, if I may, and now it's all messed up. Um, so why is it not lining up correctly? Where is it? Well, let's see. Put that there. <clears throat> This one, let's rotate it to 60.
So if you're confused about when I turn this, like there's there's one option where it moves in these chunks, and then there's another option where I move the mouse out and it moves more smoothly. So I choose that option. I'm going to turn this one um, upside down here. <clears throat> and actually, if I'm looking at this. And what I'm doing is, uh, before I was calculating an angle and it wasn't quite turning out the way that I wanted it to, so what I'm going to do now is just sort of eyeball it. And just look okay. And I just want a above look. That's too far. Looks like it's at a weird angle. Maybe change it ever so slightly. So you can be extremely precise with this and figure out like where all these need to go. Um, but you can see I sort of just eyeballed this and it's turning out okay. Um, that looks fine to me. Looks like a snowflake, right? So I can group that. And um, you have something that looks like a snowflake. I mean, essentially, you could stop there. Um, but I want to, I don't know, you can add different um, aesthetics to the snowflake. So I might, just to make this look a little less plain, I could always add a over on its side here. Come on. So 290. 90. Put it back on the platform. At zero. I'm going to take this down to I'll take it down to six so I can actually see it in here. So what you can do is you can start putting little designs on here. Uh, copy, paste it, put one over here, just turn it around. Again, put it on the top. Let's rotate this thing 90 degrees. And this one goes up here. Oops, that one's not turned the right way. There we go. Did I grab the wrong one? Maybe I did. I wasn't paying attention. So there's this. Put it right in here that and then paste um, it might be too late that I'm doing this but always make sure that it's um, gosh dang it that was one thing off one degree off sorry what I was going to say is that it's saving all your changes. So what you can do is go to each one of these. I hold down control on my keyboard and uh, shift. There we go. Uh, that didn't work. I'm thinking of Autodesk. Um, you can just create a hole for each one of these. Just keep clicking on them. Sorry, I thought there was a shortcut there. Um, then I can group it. Once it goes through. Did that go all the way through?
Uh, it didn't, and I wanted it to. So I'm going to click undo. I'm just going to make sure that these are... I can make them taller and just push them all the way through. So I'll make it taller. Push it all the way through. Same with this one. It doesn't really matter how tall I make them because they're just creating holes. And then I'll group it. Alright, so that time it, it made that, um, made the hole there. And then again, I can always, I don't know, you can even add more to it. I could do another polygon again. Maybe, uh, what the heck? I can do, I can unpoint it. I can make it smaller. Um, maybe just to match. Just sort of like rotate it so maybe the points are up this time. That. change the grid. The reason I do that is if you notice now it kind of like moves around a little bit better. Why is that so strange looking? I'm going to get rid of this one. It just didn't look right to me. So that. So this. Pointed. Bring it over. Just making it smaller here. There. Oh, I know why it kind of looks strange. It's just the way that that one was set up. So I just made a mistake on the angle of that one. It's kind of hard. Um, I mean, you can always go back and refine stuff, but that looks fine. I can push this through and create another hole. And then I'm going to group it. <clears throat> cool, so I mean, it's a little more elaborate. There's always stuff that you can add to these to make them even more elaborate. Um, so I have this one. I'm going to make sure saved so you can work on that okay um, once you do finish these I want you screenshotting them I want you putting them on your website on your own and sort of explaining what you did here what you learned um, what the object actually is which is a snowflake okay